This young zebra has marched for 47 days to get here. But in less than a minute, she will be dead. Survival becomes a lottery in Africa's Great Migration, when millions attempt to cross the mighty Mara River. This is Sulu Echo 5, an adult female zebra with a simple mission, to steer her young foal, Foxtrot 1, through his first migration. Across brutal plains and treacherous rivers, Remote cameras and drones record mother and son every step of the way. Will they survive nature's ultimate of million wildebeest only a few days march behind? The food here isn't going to last long. They need to cross. But first, they must drink. A lazy pod of hippos owns this section of river. But these vegetarians are the least of the zebra's problems. The muddy water at the edge is not good for drinking, and zebras are fussy. They need to reach the deeper flowing stream. But clean water doesn't come cheap. Though he's more interested in his mother's milk, Foxtrot 1 goes with the flow through the muddy shallows. He hasn't yet learned to fear what lurks beneath. The crocodiles here in the Talek are not as large as the monsters of the Mara, but they're large enough to bring down an adult zebra. The zebra's body language is clear. They're anxious as they enter the water. But they take courage from their numbers. They stand their ground and drink. Is it recklessness, a calculated risk, or just plain desperation? Some sense is forced into the zebras by nearly half a ton of primal reptilian hunger. But they don't retreat far, they hold their position on the bank. The instinct to head north is strong. One zebra makes a bold decision to cross. Fear holds the others back. Without her herd, she's made herself a prime target. Many of these crocodiles haven't eaten in months. But zebras are no pushovers. She bolts and shakes the crocodile off, then turns and beats a hasty retreat. Zulu Echo 5 calls out, but ultimately, all the herd can do is watch. To cross this, the bones left behind after last year's crossing, the wildebeest army streams down the bank straight to the river, instinct overwhelming any fear of the crocodiles. Zebras seize the moment and take the plunge with the wildebeests. Zulu Echo 5 and Foxtrot 1 hang back. The crocodiles who guard this passage are hungry. The front lines will have the heaviest casualties. Although some crocodiles are caught sleeping, they are soon woken by the chaos, and they join the attack. 
The crocodiles move in from all sides. The wildebeests and zebras head for the opposite bank as fast as they can. Zebras are stronger swimmers than wildebeests, sometimes even outpacing the crocodiles. But some pay the ultimate price. Zulu Echo 5 has chosen to be one of the last in the water. With the crocodiles preoccupied, it's time to see whether her strategy works. Foxtrot 1 follows close behind. Torpedo, the largest of the group, is no exception. A zebra after zebra learns the hard way. He's not attacking to satisfy his hunger. He's storing food. He stashes the dead bodies in the murky depths of the riverbanks, saving them for later, and immediately returns for more. It's bad news for the zebras and wildebeests. This is not going to stop when the crocodile's stomachs are full. Zulu Echo 5 and her herd head downstream in search of an opening. But Torpedo has no problems following them down. Another wave of the Black Army sweeps into the river. Zulu Echo 5 and Foxtrot 1 make a break for it. The current is stronger than it looks, and the zebras are swept downstream. As Zulu Echo 5 fights the rapids, there's no way little Foxtrot 1 can keep up. The pair are separated, and the foe disappears into the chaos. More zebras run the gauntlet. One is on the other side. The crocodiles notice the new target. Torpedo is amongst them. But they're just too far downstream, and the mother zebra makes it to the shallows. Another orphan, looking for its mother, in desperation, heads back into the river. 